Hello guys, um, again this is uh, Petros Catholic here coming at you today. It is uh, September the 6th already. Gosh, it's flying, it's flying, it's flying. So, as I was saying in my other video, right, uh, it's all about you know, staying in connection to your path, right? And, and understanding the end result and knowing that you will falter, knowing that you will fall. Because uh, as human beings, we will fall. As human beings, we will lay, we will go straight. But the, the, the best thing is, the key is not to let it bum you out. Not to let it discourage you. Keep on going in your faith, right? Now, the other aspect that I want to talk about is before you hit that altitude where things will, will sometimes will not go your way, but you're kind of... You're, cruising a little bit on that road or on that skyline or that altitude if you will and the beginning before you get to that level and the beginning uh, fasten your seat belts okay fasten your seat belts because like any like any plane let's say for example you go to a plane any one of you has been on a plane right you go to a plane you go you, you get on board they welcome you, the hostess, you know, the strength, this thing, right? Everything is done. What is the first thing that they tell you? The moment the train, or the moment the plane, my apologies, will go, will go, uh, will start hitting the runway. The first thing they tell you is buckle your seatbelt, right? The same thing in your life. The moment you will start embarking on that journey, and I'm talking about all of the young guys out there, young guys and girls who feel it in your heart that something's wrong, something is lacking in your heart, right? You understand that what the world is trying to sell you out, it, there's something lacking in it. And once you get into the truth, once you, once you start on that journey, before you go through that journey with God, once you start that journey, understand understand very clearly buckle your seat belts again I'm not here to sugarcoat anything guys I'm here to help you guys so that you guys could to, so that you guys could understand the journey that you will walk the journey that you're about to take is a journey that few people choose the journey that you're about to take that is a, a journey that few people choose to, to, to go to nowadays so you have to understand that once you're going through that journey prepare to be uncomfortable, prepare to be mocked at, prepare to be uh, ridiculed a little bit. But the expectation from the beginning is to buckle that seatbelt. The reason why is when that plane is about to go on that runway and it will start cruising and be in order for hit, in order for that plane to reach a higher altitude, it will hit some blocks. It will go um, against gravity. Gravity will try to pull it down and before and once you go on that altitude that desired altitude where you need to be then everything's fine then you can unbuckle your seatbelt walk around go to the bathroom check the food whatever but before you start once you're once you're going through that journey you're about to go on that ascension and you're about to go you're starting to discover your faith you're starting to understand why things some things are done in the mass you're starting to understand why we uh, we uh, pray uh, to the saints, um, well not to the saints, we, we pray uh, in communion with the saints, we ask them to pray for us, we ask them to intercede for us, why we have this, why we have that, why we um, venerate Mary, why we all, all the, once you start understanding those things, prepare, buckle your seatbelt, because once you start taking off, gravity will hit you. What is that gravity? The weight of the world, the weight of everyone, my apologies, the weight of everyone coming up and telling you what uh, t questioning your faith questioning what you believe in and all of those stuff and I just want to read for you guys a quick scripture and I'll end with this um, it's from the book of John and this is where uh, Jesus kind of laid the gra um, you no know, the 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 scripture for us and this is what it says it's not me saying it and this is Jesus Christ he says John chapter 15 verse 18 he says, if the world hates you, be aware that it hated me before it hated you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own. But you do not belong to the world. 
But I have chosen you, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you. Servants are not greater than their masters. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they if they kept my uh, words, they will keep yours also. But they will do all these things to you in account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. And so on and so on. What is Jesus saying? Same thing. Buckle your seatbelt. Understand what you're up against. Understand where you're going. And once you understand that, you could put that in your mind, and you could go forward with it. Understand the the um, obstacles that will be before you. Then the journey truly starts. Then the journey truly starts, guys. I'm not gonna make this too long. Again, this is what I wanted to tell you guys. Buckle your seatbelt, because it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Okay. So this is. Uh, Petrus Cafe coming at you today. Hope you guys have a good day. Pray for me always, and I'll keep most certainly keep you in my prayers. God bless you. Have a good night, and be saints. Petrus signing out.